Hello everybody, welcome to a Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a lightsaber effect in Blender. You probably saw the short film that I did where me and my friend Darren, we fought with lightsabers and it was pretty cool and the effects were okay, I guess. <laughs> but I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Alright, it's pretty easy but extremely tedious. So just follow along and you'll be able to create your own cool lightsaber short films or whatever you want to call it. We're going to be adding a background image, so come over here, background images, add, and this is going to be a movie clip. So whatever film that you did or whatever with fighting with lightsabers, just do that and uncheck camera clip and add it in. All right, This is it right here, so I'm going to add it in and it has no effects on it. So if we go into front view, you'll be able to see it, like, yeah, right there. Okay. So next, we're going to position the camera and you want to set the dimensions over here, you can close that tab by pressing N. You want to set the dimensions to exactly what your video is at. So mine is at 1280 by 720, 100% resolution. Okay, and then we're just going to go into top view by pressing 7 and then Control Alt 0, and that will snap the camera to where I'm looking. Let's um, let's bring this up to 100% opacity so we'll be able to see it good. So let's just find a good spot. Um, I'll link the in the description so you guys can watch this if you haven't seen it yet. Let's just turn this up. And you can set the end frame to whatever your frame is at. And I think this is like a thousand or something in my end frame, but we're not going to do that. Let's just find a good spot. Right about here is good. Okay, so what I had to do was I had to add in a plane and then position it over just doing like this sort of thing over the lightsaber for I don't know 600 frames or something I did half and uh, my friend Darren did the other half so that's what we had to do it was so tedious okay but what you need to do because you can't set keyframes for vertices right so you have to press Control H and then add in an empty to that vertice. So now if we move this, it moves it just like that. You see? That makes it pretty easy. And then also you want to set, you, you want to click this button right here and that will automatically set a keyframe right there. You see that? So let's go back and we'll just position this lightsaber. And also we have to do it for all the other vertices. So go into edit mode, Control H, add in uh, empty right there, same thing here, control H, empty, control H, hook to new object. There we go. And we're going to be staying in Blender Render because it's just a lot faster rendering and it will save you a bunch of time so you don't really want to do this in cycles. Alright, so we'll just position this over the lightsaber just like this. Alright, that's about good. Yeah, and then if you have two lightsabers you'll do it for there, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it. Okay, let's do the material now. It's pretty easy. Just go to the material and click the new. Change it to shadeless and set the color to like a red color. Right about there. And you can set this to whatever color you want the lightsaber to be. So if you want it green, you would come up here or red or whatever. But I'm going to go for a red. Yeah, blue or red, whatever. And then I'm, I'm going to go for a red right here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Right about there, that looks good. Shadeless is good. And yes. Okay, so that's everything's good right there. Now let's go to the rendering panel. And we're going to change this, the sky, click shading, and we're going to change the sky to transparent. That is extremely important because if you do not do that, this whole thing will be for nothing. So definitely set that to transparent. And I think it's good. So let's do a render. There we go. So we have our stick right there. Next, we're going to go into the compositing. So come up to this window and click compositing. Use nodes and backdrop. And we don't need this, so close both of these. Press N. All right. Now, we're going to be oh, <laughs> we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff with this. It's kind of complicated, but just try to follow along. First thing we're going to add is our video. So click, hold on, input and movie clip right there. Change this to the Star Wars, whatever film that you have, and then place it over this. So go into color, alpha over, place it there, 
and go into the top one like that and then you can press control shift left click and that will bring a viewer node all right so here is our video and as you can see it looks very bad it's just a red plane so we're gonna add some blurs and make it look like a real lightsaber so you can just leave this right here we're not gonna be touching this anymore we're just gonna be focusing on this red lightsaber so the first thing is a blur so add in a blur and we'll place it there and let's go 40% on this 40 40 oh man that looks a bit weird don't worry about it it's gonna look better in a minute and then we'll add in a color hue saturation value place it there we'll set it to like that bring this up to like a 0.8 the value 2 there we go and then we're gonna duplicate this one so shift D place it there and we're gonna add this to like a point right about there is fine the saturation bring this down to 0 and then the value will bring that down to like 0.15 then we'll take the output and plug it in there then we'll duplicate this blur node place it there let's bring these both up We'll take the output of this hue saturation, plug it into the bottom, and change both of these values to 10. All right, you still following? We're gonna have to do this one more time. So duplicate this one, place it here, and change this to a 0.4, somewhere around there, and then a point, mm, point 0.3? Yeah, that's that's good. And then like a right about there. Now we're going to duplicate this blur, place it here, and change it to 1. Both of these are set at 1. Okay, so now let's just put it in. So duplicate this alpha over, place it in there, take the bottom output and plug it right there. Okay, and then we'll duplicate this again, place it here, take the output of this and plug it into the bottom one. Plug it into the, wait, bottom. There we go. <laughs> okay, plug it into the top one. All right, there we go, That that's it right there. You see that? It's looking better. You can play around with these. I think I want this to come up just a little bit. How does that look? Yeah, that's pretty good. And as you can see right now, it's kind of weird looking because it's just flat right there. And then if the lightsaber's over here, it's just a flat thing. But once the it's moving, it, you can't really tell unless there's like just a still shot. So it will look pretty good if it's a moving shot and yeah, like that. Good, good, good. So let's go back into the default view and go to 3D. And all we have to do is just move all these things like this, move them once so it sets a keyframe. There we go. And then go into the next frame and then just move it again. Oh man, it is extremely tedious. Oh, no, zero shift middle mouse to move just like that it's very very tedious and then you would add the other lightsaber just duplicate this thing yeah it, it's very very tedious but it turns out pretty cool so go check out that short film that i did if you haven't seen it already just like that then come over on the other side place it here and when I was doing it, these things got quite annoying. <laughs> like, I couldn't really tell them, if, especially if there's two, if there's um, actually eight, eight of these empties all over the place. So you might want to scale them down, something like that. And both of these, scale it down. So it's a little easier for you to maneuver. But just like that, go through each frame, dragging right there, boom, boom. And once you have completed all of that, once you've done every single frame, you're gonna come over here and set an output. So pick a directory, I'm just gonna do it on my desktop, right there. And then we're gonna go MPEG4, whatever file that you want, OGG Athora, AVI, whatever. I like to do MP4s, but whatever you wanna do is fine. So click that, and then, yep, the sound, whatever mp3 if you want the sound you could, I've added in the sound separately in the video sequence editor I just dragged a file of mp3s or whatever into it and it turned out pretty good once you've done that you can come up to here and click animation and that will render it out let's just do one render real quick 
boom, and then it adds in the lightsaber, just like that. So once you've done every single frame, click animation, and then that video will save to your desktop or wherever you put it. That is going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I know it's a short one, but I this I told you guys in that video that I was going to put a tutorial on how to do this. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you learned something new, like it. Tell me in the comments below. And if you make something, if you make something with your friends or whatever, tell me. I would love to see that. That would be like the coolest thing. All right. Thanks for watching and goodbye.